Hello, 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 my lovelies. It is Talk Radio, TWK Radio, with your hostess, Cypher Kai, on the ones and twos tonight for this Freaky Fridays. So tonight, we are continuing the ABCs of Sex Series, the letter N, as in naughty, as in lots of other things, I'm sure. <laughs> and so we're going to play some music. We're going to talk about the ABCs of Sex Series, the letter N, fetishes, sexual positions, things of a sexual nature that start with the letter N. And then in the second half of the show, the second hour of the show, there are two um, articles, two headlines um, you guys sent me that are sex related that I'm going to discuss. And then we're going to have a good time and party and listen to some music and things like that. It's going to be great. I'm actually in really great spirits, you guys. I'm really tired, but I had a really wonderful, engaging conversation just now before I started broadcasting. So I feel really up and, and upbeat and lively right now. So thank you so much, you guys. This is going to be extremely cathartic for me. Um, <clears throat> As <laughs> as I just absolutely love doing talk radio. So um, I was rushing into the studio tonight, actually. Well, where I'm broadcasting from. So I am where my uncles are. Um, some of them might be getting inebriated during the course of the evening. You might hear that in the background. Hopefully not too loud because I will stop and punch them in the face. Um, this is a live, unscripted, uncensored and unapologetic platform. Adults only, please. When the link went out, it said headphones are required. So take that as it means. It's all capital letters with an exclamation point. It's not a suggestion, you know please just take it as it resonates yeah <laughs> so please and thank you if you are prudish if you're under 18 if you're not sexually active all of those things this might not be the platform for you so you know take that under advisement when you're listening to the show yeah um but other than that, be here, have a great time. Tonight is all about songs. I just wanted to play the kind of vibe and the timing I'm on right now. I had a really great um, business luncheon with somebody who's going to be very connected to the show in one way or, other, or another. I'm just trying to figure out how. We are going to be putting the show down for about 60 to 90 days coming up soon. I'll let you guys know when that is to revamp everything. And I know there's a lot of you that have reached out that have you writing books and you have small businesses and services and things like that. So we'll be working on some special promotions for you guys as well to take advantage of for when we come back up. So let's just have a good time. Let's start the show off. Let's have a great time. Like I said, it's the ABCs of sex series, the letter N. We're going straight through the alphabet all the way down to the letter Z. And we're going to just talk about some grown up things. If you guys missed that Wednesday show, it was something. It was something. Again, that one didn't have any sexually explicit stuff, but it was very, very profane and vulgar. I get very passionate about some things. And yes, I do have a vocabulary. I'm not required to use curse words when I'm speaking, but certain things deserve a properly placed fuck from time to time. Yeah, I'm sure as adults, we can all agree a fuck can cure a lot of things. We'll talk about that this evening as well. Yeah, here on the show. But that one was labeled um, the, my Pistivity Corner Part 3. So if you feel so inclined, you can go into the archives and look that up and listen to what that's all about. We're going to start off tonight with one of my new, oh God, this song. I'm so obsessed with this song. I don't know what, you know what? I think subco on a subconscious level, it hits me. I need to actually pay attention to the words of the song. When the broadcast is over tonight, I think I'm going to pay close attention to the lyrics of this particular song. It's speaking to me on a subconscious level. I'm pretty sure I know why, but I'll go back and check the lyrics just to make sure. Anyway, we're going to start off the evening tonight uh, with... I Like It by Koi Ray featuring Kiana Lede and Seven Streeter here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Niggas off, cause you know you my type. T-A-W-K Radio, Freaky Fridays. Caught up in the nightlife. A1 dick, baby, you got good pipe. He gon' pull up on me, big B's on the wheel. He gon' vent to me, baby, tell me how you feel. Smile for me, baby, put the pussy on your grill. Don't lie to me, baby, promise that you'll keep it real. Gucci stopping when he walk in the room. Real nigga, yeah, I like how he move. He a boss and I like how he do it. Grab the camera, baby, let's make a movie I need to know if it's worth it Communication not working Ay. Come and show me that you bought it, babe Ooh, you gotta earn it Ooh, you so righteous, so righteous, so righteous T 
AWK Radio, Freaky Fridays. Singing higher than I do at my own shows You got me singing your praises in my solo Yeah, I'ma let you know with every syllable Yeah I can't make out anything that you say Yeah Wanna hear in my name I need to know if it's working Communication ain't perfect So come and show me that you bought it, baby Oh, you gotta learn it Said you'll be right back Soon as you walk in, let you break my back Why you licking on my lips, I might give you FaceTime You're so close to the none of your cover, your face tag Ooh, I'm tryna meet you outside a liquor store I keep it tight and lit like the switch roll So can you knock, knock on my window Bang, bang, make that shit crescendo Ooh, we can now make it urgent Any communication in person So come and show me that you bad it, babe TAWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays on Talk Radio, www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows with your hostess Cypher Kai on the ones and twos. Let me take a moment right now to shout out Anthony the Lyft Driver. Got it in the first 10 minutes. Shout out to Mr. Ven Ven. Also, shout out to Mr. My topical consultant for the day. Not going to tell you guys his name yet, but this guy was so tremendous having this meeting with someone today. He, like I said, he wrote a book. He's got a clothing line and just lots of different things going on. And it was such an absolute pleasure to speak to this gentleman. I know at some point in the future, very near future, he'll be getting, you know, interviewed. Um, having a conversation with me, we don't do interviews here, god damn it. Having a conversation with me on talk radio and to talk on talk radio about the things that he's doing, the things he's been through. It's going to be quite amazing. And it's always lovely when, you know, God puts people in your path to confirm for you things that you need to hear. Or if you're, you know, you're, you're having doubts about something, just to keep you on your path and let you know that, hey, you're in the right place. It might not make sense to you right now, but you're in the right place at the right time. Everything's divine timing for me. I'm learning to trust that, to step into that, to own that, surrender to that. The, day for, the word for the day is surrender surrender we'll talk about that more as we're going into revamping the show and we're doing things on the wellness wednesdays and those things talking about frequencies and vibrations and energies and all that stuff it's going to be really really great you guys i'm excited i'm so excited i'm tired but excited so tonight is the abc's of sex series you guys on the freaky fucking friday it's not the fuck's flying from earlier let's be grown about some shit round here <laughs> right round here mm. okay so Let's continue. I'm going to play some music. I think I'm going to start the fuckery around 8.15, 8.20-ish, unscripted, uncensored, as I mentioned, you guys. As I mentioned. As I mentioned. But I feel like I want to start early. I'm so hyper right now. Oh, my God. Shout out. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. But like I said, I had a really great conversation right before I came on the air. And God bless the person that was entertaining me because I was really tired. If I had gone to sleep before I did the broadcast, I'd have probably come on late. And I didn't want to do that. So <laughs> shout out. Woo, to my big brained, um, uh, I don't even know what to call him. I don't know. I think of a name. But yes, very, very helpful to the platform this evening, you guys. Yeah. So, next one. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to do a replay of one of the new news uh, tonight as well. Um, the artist whose music, whose song we're going to replay, that we played on the new news section of the show on Wednesday, was so lovely. She reached out to me. The record label gave her the information. And she reached out and she was so thankful that we had played her music on Wednesday. That's so amazing. I love when they, they do that. You know, these are the ones you know will have some longevity in the business, who have a respect for what they're doing and those who support them. And so I thought it was really lovely 
that Sarai the artist had reached out to me. So I'm actually going to, I put her song in the rotation tonight for the Freaky Fridays, the adult version of her song. That's not the one that played on Wednesday, but we're going to be groany grown tonight. We're going to be groany grown tonight. So we're going to play her song again. So Miss Sarai, if you're listening or any of your team is listening, I do appreciate you reaching out and being so humble and so lovely in your appreciation for what we've done. I do actually rather like the, sh- the song and I do like the image of the little artwork that you have behind the scenes for your stuff. And I would love to have, I'm going to shamelessly beg right now i would love to have a conversation with you on the show in the revamping for our musical money mondays would be rather rather lovely um coordinate with me if you'd like my information is available behind the scenes for you guys to reach out to me to talk to me about that but i am going to do a replay of your song it's actually going to come on after the one i'm going to play now but next is my new obsession as well i can't wait to get my sound system in my new car well new to me car like i'm going to buy like a used vehicle just to ride around and get around or whatever but soup up the system i I do like to have a nice system in the car so this next one is nutshell part two fife dog buster rhymes and red man here on the freaky fucking fridays on talk radio yo fife you're doing a remix or what Uh Uh uh-huh Your bus, let me get a bus. <laughs> Yo, Five Dog is in the building. Uh-huh. Red Man is in the building. Uh-huh. Buster Rhymes in the building. Remix. <laughs> The rebirth of the reborn as I rebuild Reconnect with this rebel, redefine and raw skill I realign, readjusted, refocus, reanalyze What's real, first had to refuel Reactivate to reemerge, reevaluate, recalculate I return, redefine, re-energize, get reacquainted Rhythmkins incorporated, roots we made it Invulnerable, inviting, invincible, inventive one Which leads most inviolable Get involved, invest in these youths, kid invigorate Induce that all Realness, insecure, nah, more like inhumane. It's not a game, shut your mouth. Use your inner voice, say in your lane, inaugurate those with incentive to want to innovate. Insisting that those who inspire, we will initiate. What? And that's just me in a nutshell. Nutshell, nutshell, nutshell. Ha! Fight dog in a nutshell. New York finest in a nutshell. Look. Unpredictable, I'm so unavoidable, unfathomable, the love I get unconditional, unequivocal, indestructible, unthinkable. G A W K Radio Freaky Friday. Unbuckled outs, unclothed, description Rari's. Unclean eyes, gonna please go. Clean your unhospitable, that's one sick individual. Untraceable DNA, we get flow unforgivable. And that's just me in a nutshell. I unallow those unwelcome, you're unapparent. It's undisputed, I got you stuck like under a magnet, under a cabinet, unofficially though I I had to get a number. number. Write it up under the logo with a laminate. The unbeaten undertaker, undercut in the F's unexplainable. Tell heating under hints. Undenounced, bury you under the mansion. I understandably hope that we have an understanding. Ah, and that's just me in a nutshell. Nutshell, nutshell, nutshell. Then, bust a bust in a nutshell. Reggie, yeah. I keep moving, I keep bud, I keep fire I keep an attitude, so get another keep trying I keep it deuces, Bigelow, the Rob Schneider I keep it flowing till my hands getting off right I keep bars, I keep money, I keep cooking I keep a car for short day to keep looking I keep it jurors, I'm killing them I keep going, I put you on a t-shirt and then keep calm I keep women, I'm like Nas, I keep ether Fife and bust, that's my brothers, keep a keeper I keep a K, call it Slay, the street sweeper Same Seema, give me them keys to you your beamer. Keep your friends closer, enemies closer. It's rappers like me that are sent off Oprah. Keep focused. T A W K Radio. Freaky Friday. That's a nutshell. Ha! Red man in a nutshell. 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 Ha! That's just me in a nutshell. 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 Ha! Fight dog in a nutshell. New York finest in a nutshell. Yeah. Yes, the red man. That's what they call me. Way in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, your man! And that's just the way the story goes. Gilla House, via Brick City, Jersey. You know what I mean? A conglomerate, via Brooklyn. You don't know. Rhythm Kids, via Queens, T Dot. Let me hear it back. 
TAWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays with your host, Safi Kai. Tonight is going to be the continuation of the ABCs of Sex series. You utter the letter N as in not sack, as in not shell, as in naughty, as in God knows whatever else is going to come up on this list. I don't look at it ahead of time. We read it all together. Learn some things. Get your papers and pens. Get your liquor. Get something to drink. Get someone you want to fuck really close by, just in case something inspires you to try it out tonight. We're groans as fucks round here. So what I told you. Put your babies away. Get your your glasses up get your headphones on get me all in your ears holes tonight you guys keep me close keep me close keep me close let's be groany grown round here next one this one was a new new on the show on wednesday and that's what happens you showcase a song on a new new it might end up in the rotation whenever i feel like putting it on so miss sarai the artist this is the explicit version of the song called bag here on the freaky fridays on talk radio Wanna be one of us? Know that they plot to stay dangerous. So many bitches they wanna fuck. Swimming money just like a trust. She going in like she wanna bust. No, we don't love them, baby. It was us. Ain't even touched, so what's the fuck? I'm getting money like NBA. I bought her gifts from a Cartier. Way too much money. She like AWK Radio. I get the, I get the bag, yeah. I get the, I get the bag. Running, your bitch thought she was something. Man, these hoes ain't not about nothing. Knowing your hoe gon' text me now. You so broken, I'm like, wow. Gun in your head, that trigger go pow. She's so fine, like, fuck me now. But that's your hoe, I know I'm foul. Change my ways, I still ain't shit. I'm still too cute to go fuck that bitch. Hang around hood, niggas ain't no wish. Too many levels, I still this shit. I'm a big dog, you still ain't rich. I'm a female, but you want my dick. See my cow, then you be sick. Try me, boy, you go. I get the bag and I run it up. These niggas wanna be one of us. Know that they plot to stay dangerous. So many bitches they wanna fuck. Swing their money just like a trust. She going in like she wanna bust. No, we don't love it. TAWK Radio Freaky Friday. I'm getting money like NBA. I bought her gifts from a Cartier. Way too much money, nothing to say. These niggas funny, they're sitting face. I get the, I get the bag, yeah. I get the, I get the bag, yeah. These niggas mad, yeah. These niggas mad, yeah, 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 yeah. I get the yeah. Money, they think they can pass us. Then what you saving? No nigga get racks up. I don't have bricks in that paper. You last up. I'm from the A with them niggas get mashed up. Really be saving you niggas. I feed you. Your pocket small like the eye of a needle. You was a bitch on the sip, you see through. She on my dick cause she don't really need you. Know I'll be counting and counting them racks. And I think they'll go when they tell me the packs in. Don't hide the work, no, I could be relaxing. Bad like a stun, but I'm not really flashing. No, I'm attached to them for a feature. See me in public and negative amnesia. Pay me my ties and they call me a preacher. I get them frankens and some like Aretha. I get the bag and I run it up. These niggas wanna be one of us. Know that they plot to stay dangerous. So many bitches they wanna fuck. Swing their money just like a trust. She going in like she wanna bust. No, we don't love them, baby, it was us. Ain't even touching, so what's the fuss? I'm getting money like NBA. I bought her gifts from a Cartier. Way too much money, nothing to say. These niggas funny, they're sitting face. I get the, I get the bag, yeah. I get the, I get the bag, yeah. These niggas mad, yeah. These niggas mad, yeah. AWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays with your hostess Safa Kai on the ones and twos for the ABCs of Sex Series, the letter N tonight. Gonna start off early because I feel like it and I can. Right, A15, look at me being all on time and shit. Right, so tonight we're gonna do this continuation going all the way from the letters A all the way down to Z. So all the letters that preceded this from A through M is available in the archives on the website. Go through and look for that. We'll also be reconnecting on Spotify and all the other ones as well. So you can find us anywhere you need to find us, whatever's convenient for you. As long as you can safely listen, feel free to do that. Always headphones required most of the times. Most of the times. It's an adult platform. It's whatever, right? Be a parent to your own fucking children. They'll be like, I can't believe you said that, Cypher. Listen, it's 15 minutes into the show. And I think about two to three minutes, I started the fucks flying already. So if you can't figure out what this is, you're a bad parent or your ears don't function or you've got a candlestick in your ears, get a Q-tip, work it out, right? And as I always like to encourage you guys, I like to be encouraging. If you find that you come onto this platform and it's not for you, it's a little too explicit, you know, you didn't know what you were getting into, somebody pranked you, sent you the link or whatever, or you just feel like you want to troll and be an asshole and say certain things, I got a remedy for you. Hold on. Get your paper and pen. Write this down. If you find that you've come here by accident or you don't like what you're hearing, feel free to go and log on to www.movethefuckon.com. See ya. 
All right. So let's start off. The letter N as in Nancy. Let's start off. Nacho salad. Get your papers and pens. The information on here will be worth some money in the coming months. You want to keep, you know, records of what you're listening to, innit? So tonight, let's start off. Nacho salad. <laughs> God, I was just talking to somebody about tossing salad. Oh, look how everything works out in divine order. Anyway, a nacho salad in the sexual world is an orgy, a delicious, messy indulgence that can only be fully enjoyed by a group. Really? <laughs> I bet you guys will start looking at nachos different when you go to a Mexican restaurant now, won't you? Um, narrow to philia. Narrow to philia? A fetish for dirty talk, sex stories, or having conversations about sex. Well, look at that. So all of you who tune into the show, live and in the archives, you all suffer from, for our Freaky Fridays episodes, narrow to philia. You listen to me talk dirty and things and get very excited by it. So... There it is in Bob's Your Uncle. So for those of you who are, I know there's a lot of new people listening to the show. You've got the links, you've got flyers, whatever. I think you guys who are out on the street teams out there passing them out. There is no live number to call in at the moment. When we're revamping, we'll be working on that. You, if you have access to me on my VIP lines, you can hit me up via WhatsApp, um, private text, messenger, that kind of thing. If you are international or local and you want to text in live text only so when you text me and i see it amongst all the other things popping in my face i can respond you can hit me up 347-450-3958 347-450-3958 and i can read your text messages that's also a 24 7 hotline for the show so if at two o'clock in the morning you're listening to an archive even from months ago and you've got something to say about it you can leave a voicemail on that number to potentially be pulled and played live on the show as we did last week when we pulled some voicemails and we're playing them you know what i'm saying so we do that three four seven four five zero three nine five eight also those of you who are loving the show loving the platform loving how things are going you said you want to show some support if you'd like to show some support in a financial way we do take all donations which is lovely and appreciated you can hit us up in cash app call sign the dollar sign t-a-w-k-r-a-d-i-o and yes that is my picture that's there so for those of you who are curious to see what the hell i look like that is my picture in the cash app <laughs> right so there you go and bob's your uncle all right so we're going to continue here oh sorry also if you're an international talker um you can hit us up on facebook dot com forward slash t-a-w-k-r-a-d-i-o in the messenger section you can send me your messages there and I can respond to you back and forth. And if you're so emboldened, if you're so inclined, you can talk to me publicly back and forth. And there's some other people that hang out in the public chat room. Those are not the only people listening, just the ones who are bold enough to go in on our website, www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. In the player, there's a talking bubble there. You click it, it takes you somewhere, gives you some instructions and you can talk to myself and other people in the uh, public chat room that might be in there. All right, so there you go. That's the information. Let's continue. ABC is a sex series, a letter N here on the Freaky Fucking Fridays on Talk Radio. I said that. Freaky, freaky Fucking Fridays on Talk Radio. Um, nasophilia, a fetish for noses. Oh my God. I think God's playing with me tonight. I do. Hold on. A fetish for noses. This includes an attraction to a specific type of nose or even a desire to penetrate a partner's nostrils. I swear to God, I'm about to stop the show right now. I was just talking to someone about wanting to dangle my vagina over their face and put my clit on their nostrils. I swear to God, I was having a very dirty conversation just now (laughs) with someone. And this is like the second confirmation. Listen, God, this this is too much. I can't even listen. This is a lot. This is a lot right now. God is so able. God is so able. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to, yeah, yeah. All right. NBR stands for no beers required. A partner you would fuck without needing to be drunk. Oh, that's lovely. (laughs) An NBR. That is lovely. Oh, you have a thing for cute noses. Ooh, okay. My talk is that you guys are so lovely and dirty. What kind of noses do you like? Do you like the poke? Okay, so the, guys, the nose that you like, is it the straight ones? Because I don't have a straight nose. I've got a big black woman's nose. But the straight ones that when she's 
again, ladies, I'm going to give you some instructions. I want you to, I think I gave this instruction last week, but as this person mentioned the nose thing, right? Ladies, I need you to get experimental with your men, your men, men, the ones with the titles on them, the men, men, the ones that you picked and chose and titled up, right? I want you to work on the Arabian goggles. We talked about the Arabian goggles on the show, right? Where this guy's got his balls on your eyeballs, right? <laughs> balls are sitting on your eyeballs, depending on the angle you're in. And it's cock is, look it, look it, look it. So what about the noses do you like? Do you like when she's like, what? She's got her nose and she can, you know, she's giving you a blowjob. She's laying on your back, right? Because guys, listen, I want you guys to start giving out, you know, lazy blowjob activity. I want you guys to get comfortable when these ladies are doing this shit. Don't feel compelled to stand up against the wall. Because if she's doing it right, your knees should buckle from under you anyway. Don't feel like you've got to sit in a chair and make it easy. Lay your ass on the bed. Most of the time when women got you eating their coochie, they're laying down very comfortable right? Not helping you out. The bitch is not putting pillows under her ass to push herself up to where she needs to be. Start giving out that lazy. Make her work for it. Make her work for it. Especially when these are the ladies that you're taking care of all the bills and making sure she's keeping her lace fronts on and her nails done and shit. Make her put some work. No lazy blowjobs. Except no, don't let her pop her head up on her pillow. Sit there acting like she doesn't want to do it. You know, barely grabbing the base. Like her grab it till the fucking veins come up, right? No, no bullshitting you around, right? Get grown with it. Make her get grown with it. Make her put the neck action in. You want to see her fucking neck bobbing. You know, you want to see the gagging. You want to see the water running out of her fucking eyes because you can't. T- Listen here. Don't start me. Don't start me. Don't start me. All right now. Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio with your host, Cypher Kai, on the ones and twos. Let's continue tonight. Change the genre from us. No, I'm not going to change the genre yet. Let me not get hyper and do that. Should I do it? Should I do it? I could do it. I could do it. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to play all the hip hop now. And the last change in genre afterwards. So this one I'm going to play was a new, new a couple months ago. You guys remember this one is way too soft by Melly here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Melly. Uh, uh, I've been going way, way, way too soft, funny nigga. AWK radio UK Radio Freaky Friday. AWK radios worldwide sorry Jesus Christ worldwide Wednesdays no not worldwide Wednesdays freaky fucking Fridays oh my god live radio unscripted and uncensored and I'm here by myself holding it all the way down <laughs> holding it all the way down all right so you like big wide black noses all right I see what you're saying there I see what you're saying there mister some other people saying yeah they like the little pointy noses my pride community uh, my pride is saying look I like a pointy nose so when he's behind me eating my ass out before he fucks me look we don't discriminate here the only discrimination we have on this platform ever 
is fucking pedophiles. Never welcome here, ever. But other than that, we take all of you. We take all of you. All of you. And all your little kinky fetishes. All of them. Let's continue here. The ABCs of sex series, the letter N. Um, let's continue. Necrophilia, a fetish for human corpses. That's, I always thought that's kind of weird. Again, me no judgy. Me no judgy. But I'm just saying, right? Human corpses. Now, is, it, is this the reason why people take a grave digger job? Are you like digging up corpses? Are you like the ones who like kind of fucking around with them in the morgue or at the funeral home and whatnot? And, and what, do, yeah, yeah. What is it about that? Is this, are you the kind of people that are normally turned down? So you figure this person can't answer you back. They can't reject you. What is the thing about the necrophilia? Is it the smell of the rotten corpse? What is it? Someone tell me something. If we've got any necrophiliacs listening to the show right now, tell me your business. I kind of need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right. Newcomer. N-E-W-C-U-M-M-E-R. A man who has recently come out publicly about being gay. A newcomer. That's cute. <laughs> no homo. No homo. A text speak phrase intended to assert a male's okay heterosexuality following a statement that reveals his latent homosexuality. If I was a chick, I would totally have Bieber fever. No homo. Uh, I've heard. Oh, I've heard my son do that nonsense and his friends. Oh, da 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 da. No homo. The fuck. Whatever. That's so stupid. All right. So I'm um, non con. Non con. Non consensual BDSM play. This may refer to rape or sex play in which either partner is aroused by the fantasy of a force encounter. Oh, that's a fine line. That's a fine line for me. Hmm. All right. But again, me no judgy. Non because to me, non cons. Okay. If you're playing out a rape fetish or something, it is understood before you start. It's going to be forceful. Maybe you play a game. I don't know you. I don't know you. Stranger, stranger, whatever, whatever. But you have, I would think you'd have like a safe word or something. Non-consensual to me literally dries me up in every aspect. It just kind of means no means fucking no. Just, you know, so then again, people are into what they're into. All right. And um, like I said, me no judgy. Nooner, a quickie that occurs during the middle of the day. Also during a lunch break or it's called a luncher. A lunch. Oh, I like that one. A luncher. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, um, we'll do three and then go back and do a song. I don't think there's as many for the letter N as they were for the other letters. So we'll continue through. We'll just continue through. Uh, the next song we're going to play here. I haven't played in a long time, but I love it. This is this is the one that makes me feel all you know riled up and 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 my American vibe when I'm riding around trying to get that Yankee vibe. This one is show my ass, fat young and yellow beezy here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. WK radio. Son of a bitch, y'all so fat. I'm a flip, got a hoe so mad. Black no, corner, got a hoe so sad. White trim, say so your hoe so trash. trash. Call her up, then your hoe gon' smash. Yeah. You a joke, say so your hoe gon' laugh. And I fuck in your bed, say so your hoe so bad. Yeah, yeah. One minute, one minute. Yeah. Give me one minute. If I say we got smoke, then you don't wanna jump in. I got a hoe that got a hoe. She hunch, hoes and hunch niggas. I'm in this bitch one deep, and I ain't scared of one nigga. Dog is slum, nigga. Nigga, show my ass in a double law. Uh-huh. Hey, nigga, drink lean by the jar. Hey, ride my dick, but ain't got a car. Hey, uh-huh. what's feelings? What that? What that? Nigga, I ain't got no heart. No heart. Nigga, kept it real from the start. Uh-huh. If you still bitch, then play your part. Uh-huh. Show my ass, show my ass. Ooh. Show my ass, show my ass, show my ass. Ooh. Cause I got a bag. Show my ass, show my ass. Yeah. Bitch, I'ma show my ass, show my ass, show my ass. T-A-W-K Radio, Freaky Friday. I know these niggas be boring and sleep on a nigga like they miss snoring. I 
Gotta fill up the bag. Remember them damn. days I was down bad. No, we ain't going outside. You flexing with it, then we taking your sack. Damn. And no, we ain't giving it back. It's sex uh-huh. season, so we cuffing the cash. Yeah. But these niggas cuffing these bitches. Damn. And we leave a bitch in the past. Ooh. Four pockets full, just like little baby. That's probably why my pants sag. Don't mean to brag, we make it look easy. That's probably why these niggas mad. Uh-huh. They thought I was Kevin, they wanna believe me. That's why I gotta show my ass. TAWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Friday. WK Radio with your hostess Cypher Kai on the ones and twos. I'm looking in and trying to pace myself out and it's really not a lot of words here for the letter N, is it? Like I said, I do these things live and unscripted. And so <laughs> I am... <clears throat> I am going through them quicker than I anticipated. I might have to pull a few more um, sexual related articles and we'll just talk like we're fucking grown here, innit? If you guys want to say something to me, 347-450-3958, 347-450-3958. And we will uh, move along from there. Now, the next one is going to be Nookie. Which is just another name for sex, isn't it? Um, shout out to Anthony the Lift Driver. I think I saw something pop in my face just now. I didn't read it yet. I'll get to it though. Uh, the next one is normophilia. Normophilia? A fetish for acts that do not violate laws, social norms, or religious doctrine. Oh, so it's kind of like regular sex? Sounds like regular sex to me. <laughs> Let's see. One more here. Novice. A newcomer to the fetish scene, specifically. So not like someone new to having sex, just someone new to the fetish scene. Ah, interesting. Interesting. All right, we've got a few more. All right, so... Another song, three, then a song. Next one in this hip hop vein is Hoopty by CJ here on the Freaky Fucking Fridays on Talk Radio. Have you on the asset social, man? Loyalty over royalty, I niggas know the vibe. Fuck your kill this beat, bitch. Whoopty, bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Huh. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep Bitch, I'm buy my chicken like it's a two-piece You can have your bitch back, she a groupie She just swallow all my kids in a two-seat Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out I'm back on my bullshit, spin back with a full clip They say I'm moving ruthless And my shooters, they shooting I'm gonna take her they roof, Chris I get the brief, then it's adios If I'm with your trees, then she giving throw When I see police, then we gang low That's another piece, that's another zone Ice in the VVs, now she down to get tree I got all this water on me like Fiji Bitch, I'm posted up with hats and the sleazies Smoking the Zaza, it go straight to the Mata Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha-cha Open his lata, then he dance my chata T-A-W-K Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays Whoop it Bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Huh. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep. Bitch, I'm buy my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back on my bullshit, spin back with a full clip. They say I'm moving ruthless, and my shooters, they shooting. I'm gonna take her to the group, Chris. AWK Radio with your host, Cypher Kai, on the ones and twos. So I decided I'm calling an audible. What I'm going to do is when I run out of the amount of um, things I'm going to discuss tonight on the show, starting with the letter N, I'm actually going to pull a couple of random uh, emails to read. Hopefully I can find some short ones. We'll do that. And then, like I said, in the second half of the show, there's two headline stories you guys sent me in that you want my feedback on. Um, just from the headlines, I can tell it's going to be... Woo, extra it's gonna be extra i do got some soca music and some reggae music queued up for all of my 
Caribbean people who feel like you get left out on the Wednesdays. Look, you can't have everything you want every day of the damn week. I'm just saying you've got to share me. Now, um, Mr. Anthony, the Lyft driver, the super VIP, is holding a meds, holding a vibes and a meditation with one of his people. So shout out to Mr. Sparta Dunn, uh, who's tuned in right now, just vibing out on the show. Hopefully he's a new talker and you will be a continued talk, um, talker to the platform, you know, saying or connected. I've not given a shout out either to the international talkers. So I want to give some homage to the countries that made the biggest movement from last week, Friday to this week, Friday. Let me make sure I've got the stats properly in front of me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me sort this out. Should have had that done before. Live, unscripted, uncensored radio, damn it. I'll come back and do that in a second. So let's continue here with what's going on in the letter. This is the ABCs of sex series, the letter N. All right, so this is going to be the last few words here. Nut huggers, obviously, are tight pants worn by a man. Oh, Lord. Um, now, see, it's a, it's a wonderful thing when you guys in your beautiful cop prints are wearing these gray sweatpants specifically. I think that every man should have i don't give a fuck what kind of business you do you could be an entrepreneur lawyer doctor whatever every man especially every well-endowed bow-legged man should own a pair of gray sweatpants preferably the drawstring ones i'm just saying i can't think of any you know they got argyle print and stripes and polka dots and all that i can't think of a better print on any article of clothing i've ever seen than the cock print of a well-endowed man (laughs) with bow legs thank you lord that's the kind of thing that makes you take a moment and say god i'm so thankful that my eyes work i'm so thankful that you gave me a vagina look I, i listen i tell you i fully understand i fully understand that you know people are gonna look i'm gonna start some arguments right now i fully understand why gay men are gay i get it i do right people say oh it's sinful as this now but i understand if it's if from a strictly from a standpoint of loving and having a deep appreciation for cock is why they're gay i get it i get it guys you are just dumb and yummy you're dumb and yummy. And I say that as respectful as I possibly can. You can be scholars, very intellectual, but men by design are dumb and yummy. Dumb from a standpoint of, you know, you guys are very simple creatures. You know, not hard to understand how a man mind works, right? Ladies, I tell you this all the time. I'm going to give you some, I'm going to learn you something. And you guys check me if I'm wrong. And the talkers know what I'm about to say. If you are a talker, you know what I'm about to say. <sighs> men are not hard to figure out right um there's few who stray different from what i'm about to say but overall when you talk about the billions of men on the planet because there's billions of people in the world they're pretty simple creatures they all kind of like the same things right feed them fuck them leave them alone i'll say it one more again ladies in the back get your papers and fucking pens and write this shit down this is how you keep your man happy not by going through his phone, not by stressing him out, nagging him to fucking death. None of that shit. Very simple. Feed him. Fuck him. Leave him alone. And in that order, normally, guys, if I'm right, tell me I'm right. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. I'm not talking about every single man on the planet. I'm saying overall, overall. A man likes to know that he doesn't have to buy food outside, that you can make something. And ladies, here's the thing. The pandemic should have taught you a couple of things. If you can't cook from scratch, you didn't have that auntie around, that mom around, whatever. YouTube is not just for gossip videos. You can learn to cook on YouTube for fucking free. But besides that, even if you can't cook, if you've got no internet, you can't get YouTube, whatever. If you just make sure the man eats, Go to a restaurant that makes good food. Put the food in the fucking plate so it doesn't feel like some outsider is paying gigantic rent, mortgage, whatever, and is eating out of containers when he comes home when you're sitting home all day. Put something on a plate. You don't got to pretend you you cooked it because he knows you can't cook, right? Put it on a plate, right? Wear something nice when he comes home from work. Put the fucking babies away and give your man your attention when he comes in the house. Feed him. When his belly is full enough, you don't give him food, he's falling down, rubbing his belly and falling asleep. No, 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 no. Give him just enough to eat to be satiated, right? Allow him to go wash off his work day. Feed him, 
take him in the room, little blowjob, right if he's not too tired, piece of pussy, you know, they've got to give him a whole session, piece of pussy, plate of food, piece of pussy, and then allow him, right, just allow him, if he wants to unwind, he's a guy who watches video, get, plays video games, or watches sports or whatever, feed him, fuck him, allow him, right, that's what you do, this is not hard work, either. this is not hard work, not hard to understand, guys, if I'm right, tell me I'm right, if I'm missing something, let me know, if I'm on point, let me know, so the ladies can know, guys, like, hell yeah, I'm getting all thumbs up over here, all thumbs up flying around over here, ladies, we just unlock the code to men, happiness for men, then when you go a little deeper than that, they want the support, they want when you're sitting there, and those moments when you're feeding him, this is where you do the bonding, right? This is where the intimacy comes in. Instead of telling him how your day was, oh, I talked to so and so, your your man is not your is not your homegirl. He's not your gossip buddy. Let me learn you guys a few things tonight. It's Freaky Fucking Fridays, you guys. Freaky Fucking Fridays. ABC is a sex series, letter N, right? Your your boyfriend is not, he can be, listen, you can date someone that's your best friend, but please understand, ladies, this is where you blur the fucking lines. Even guys that like to hear a little gossip, everybody likes to hear a little gossip, your man is not your homegirl. Let me give you that one more again. Your man is not your homegirl. He does not want to hear all the gossip that's going around with you and your friends. After a guy makes it home from a long day fighting traffic at a job he more than likely doesn't like and all the other things, he does not want to fucking come home and hear you gossiping about your no account fucking friends that has something bad to say about him all the time because you talk too much. That is not a thing that he wants to do. Maybe I'm wrong, (laughs) right? Maybe I'm wrong. Now, Every so often when there's a juicy piece of family drama or something, of course you can tell him if it's people that he knows. But to continue to be banging on about your friend with her 10 baby fathers and who's fighting each other and the bitch at your job that you can't stand and all that, he doesn't want to hear all that shit. And you can't get mad because he doesn't want to hear all that shit. You can't get mad about that. It's almost as though he came in, if you were the one working, came in from a long day, all you could think about was going home, having him undress you at the front door, remove your clothes, take off your shoes, put you in the shower, bathe you, and all the fuck he wants to bang on about is some sporting event he watched that the rules you don't even understand and the game you don't fucking like. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. So please, understand, don't blur the lines together. Your man is not your homegirl. They're two separate people. And ladies, above all other things, this is like a cardinal rule for me. I tell you guys all the time. When your man comes home, not some guy whose pockets are beaten out, not some guy you can't really stand, the one you gave the title to, the one you cohabitate with, when he comes home, everything you're doing should stop. Slight of the house being on fire or having a newborn in your hand feeding them, everything is supposed to stop when your man comes home. Ooh, I'm going to start some arguments. Don't tell me about, oh, it's not 1950s. Fuck that nigga. Da, 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 da. Look at, if it's a fuck that nigga type situation, why the fuck are you still living with him? Right? Let's think about that for a second. When your dude comes home, listen, I'll tell you guys, I'm about that life. You guys have heard me say on the phone before. When I wake this vagina back up and give it to whoever it is that God said, this is the one I want you to give it to. When that man comes home, I could give two fucks about who thinks I'm a punk, a pussy, whipped or whatever. Yes, the fuck I am. And proudly so. When my man walks through the door in that house to see me in all my sexy, all my gratitude that he made it home safe and wanted to come home to me in my clean house with food that he can smell from the time he comes through the front fucking door. Ring on my phone off and put the fuck to the side to ask that man, how do you require me? sex (laughs) food or blowjob how do you require me right now depending on the kind of day you had it might i will meet my man at the front door on my knees prepared to give a blowjob as he walks through the house i'm built like that because sometimes you just need that ladies it's not all the time you're going to get with your dude and be able to have 90s r&b slow kissing deep stroke sex sometimes a man just needs to know he can come home and treat his woman like a whore I'm just saying, I'm just saying, sometimes he just needs to come home and blow off some steam and pull your hair and spank your ass and know that that's his. Understand, look at, if it's not something you're into, it's not something you're into, but sometimes that is what they require. I know for me personally, right, I keep telling you guys I'm a dude with a crotch anyway. When I close a deal, when I do something successful, I want to fuck. I don't want to make love, <laughs> right? I don't, I want to fuck, I want my man to treat me like a fucking sex doll. Come in my face. All that dick. Listen, if my kids are listening, get the fuck off. Right? I want grown up action packed shit. 
that's what I want, right? So this is what it is. It's not something to be, oh, I can't believe he didn't did it. Listen, ladies, 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 if you want your man to come home and make love to you, make it a conducive space to do that. You can't be nagging him all fucking week. The house is dirty. You've not cooked in a while. You're not keeping yourself up and you want to put on hip hop. I mean, some 90s slow jams and shit and expect him to go in there and smash what on your dirty sheets in the smelly house while his belly's growling. You're going to hear his belly growling over the fucking high notes from Jodeci while he's fucking really making a conducive situation to get what you want. Not by nagging. I keep telling you guys, let me learn you on this tonight. Yeah. You train your man with your behavior. Woo, shit. Let's start some arguments. I'll give you that one more again. Give you that one more again. You don't train your man by nagging him to fucking death. Oh, shut up. I'll just do it. No, 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 no. You don't actually get it. He'll cave in, but he's not going to get you. You train your man by your behavior and it's not manipulative. You guys have an understanding. You have a conversation. You know who your person is, what they like, what their specific thing is that they're like what their sexual currency is everybody has different sexual currency you can't do the same thing with every partner you've had so if you want your guy to do something for you you don't have to be the freakiest bitch spread out the most across his chest none of that stuff just train him with your behavior make it a situation where you are whole that if he decides to step out of your situation and cheat foolishly you don't have to be broken behind it nor do you have to take that toxic shit to another relationship you know that when he stepped away it's because he had an opportunity to do so and he was too stupid to keep the opportunity that he had but not because you were oh i wonder what i did wrong i wonder what i did wrong you shouldn't have to ask yourself that if you're a talker you never got to ask yourself that because you know that you have put in 150 percent into your relationship let me give you guys a formula that i use and like i said i'm about this life yeah when i am dating someone i put in 150 percent 150. You guys have heard me do this talk radio math before, right? So if I'm dating someone and they do something, every time they do something that we've discussed, yeah, because I have conversations, I'm grown as fuck, right? So I'm not giving you rules and orders. I'm having a conversation about what I expect, what I will tolerate, and what I bring to the table. And if it is something, example, I would like to know that my man and I can come to an agreement about A curfew, a respectful curfew. Let me tell you what this means to me. Curfew for me is that we agree that at a certain time of the night, our phone ringers go off and the phones disappear because it is our time to be together and focus on each other. So we come up with a time together. We both agree to the time. We also agree that if we're cohabitating, right? Listen, I'm the kind of bitch that will give my man singles to go to the strip club, right? I'm I'm secure in what I do because again, if he steps out, that's on him. That regret will sit on him. But also because you live with someone, the whole point of me giving you a title and living with you is I enjoy you as a person. I want to be next to you. I want to feel you. I don't want to be in the bed sleeping by myself. Right? So if you're going out with the guys for an after work type thing, it's okay to be home at 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. Not stumbling in 2, 3 o'clock in the morning drunk or calling me, I'm going to sleep by such and such house. No, you're not. Do I need to come get you, babe? Do they send an Uber for you? These are the kind of things we're talking about. It's not demanding because the same thing I'm asking you to do is me too. I'm not sleeping by my homegirl's house when I got a whole live blanket in the fucking house. What am I staying in the house for? And you guys have heard me say this to you before as well, going out. So I have a ladies night out with the, with the girls. They want to go out to a club or something after work or whatever. And, you know, I tell my guy and ladies, listen, 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 listen. Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Don't start the bullshit. Oh, no, 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 no. Look it. If I am dating someone and I said, babe, on a Monday, babe, the girls and I are going out on Thursday. What would you like me to wear? See, that's grown up shit. That's grown up shit. That's grown up shit because it gives him the opportunity to dress me. I want to go out and put my best foot forward for him because when I'm out at the club, I'm telling people I'm dating. Oh, yeah. Not hiding that. I'm going out with my single friends. I'm not fucking single. So my man can pick my outfit for me. So not only does he get to pick how he wants me to present him outside and represent him outside, but he knows what I'm wearing. He's not freaking out. Oh, she left when I wasn't here. Wonder what the fuck she got on. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Pick up my dog to pick up my outfit. You pick it out. And then, so I say, babe, all right, we're going out six o'clock. I'll be home at 11 or whatever. If I get a call from my man at nine o'clock at night, well, we've had an understanding. I'm coming home at 11 p.m. 
I understand what that phone call means. I understand this. Ladies, please hear me out. Hear me out. This is grown up shit. This is grown up shit. At nine o'clock at night on the night I'm going out on a weekday. Trust and believe that before I left the house, I made sure there were clean sheets on that bed. I made sure that man's food was cooked. I made sure he had a clean towel and underwear waiting on the toilet bowl in the bathroom for to take a shower. I did all that. Let me tell you why I did that. One, he's accustomed to that treatment when I'm there. He doesn't need to miss it when I'm not there. Two, I know me. When I go the fuck out and this outfit that he picked, feeling myself, looking great, looking at my pathetic single fucking friends and all these guys ogling after them and all that shit. I want to go home and say, thank God this is not me. Thank God this is not my life. And I want to go home and fuck my guy. So I want him fed and clean before I get there. If we have an understanding, I'm coming home at 11 o'clock and he calls me at nine. It's not because he's insecure, not my guy. He knows I'm not doing shit outside. He's calling because he recognizes shit. I came home. My baby got the place laid out. I could smell her in here. I could feel her in here. I know what she looks like in the outfit. I want her home. And I understand that when I come home, I'm not coming home to an argument. I'm coming home to my man naked at the front door with his cock in his hand, wanting to serve me the thing that I took out the house. I understand this because we grown as fuck round here. Because we grown as fuck round here. Huh? Talk radio, you guys. Freaky fucking Fridays on talk radio. www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. I'm about that life, you guys. Let's change the drama of the music. Let's continue here. Let's jump into the soca for the soca holics. For the soca holics. Let's start off with some. Ooh, deserve it all by Jadel here on the Freaky Fridays on talk radio. <laughs> Fucking Fridays on Talk Radio with Cypher Kai on the ones and twos. fucking Fridays. Oh, <laughs> 
CAWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays. You guys said, listen, you tripping out on the fact that I said, yeah, you got to look it. Like I said, it's not a manipulative thing. You train people. Same thing with you guys. You can do the same thing. You train your woman with your behavior. Scolding her. Oh, bitch, you don't do this. Bitch, you don't do it. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to learn you guys something else. Now, for the guy side, I to- listen, I told the ladies what to do to help you. going to tell you guys what to do to help yourselves with your ladies. Let me learn you something. I don't know who you guys are fucking with. I have no idea. You might need to trade some of these bitches in. Let me ha- listen. I'm going to start some arguments right now. I, my skin is thick and I'm ready for the war. Ready for the fucking war. Look. Told you guys before. Tell you again. Grown women. Grown women. And it doesn't mean chronological order. It means mindset. Grown women know what the fuck they want. And grown women love and appreciate sex as much as you guys love to give it to us. Let me keep it a thou wow. Let me keep it a thou wow. Look it. Look it. Right? I've told you guys a story before. I was dating someone that had me properly fucking trained, properly motivated to behave myself. Not because his man has never raised a hand at me. He has never argued with me because I don't do the argument thing. Why? Because I listen, not for nothing. I so I've told you guys before. I have had amicable um, breakups with everybody I've interacted with, everybody dated, whatever. I had a long-term relationship. We'd never had an argument, never had a bad sex session, nothing in seven years. Why? Because we had conversations. We had conversations, right? And so it comes down to a situation where, you know, if there was a disagreement, which was very rare, few and far between, just a mere thought in my own mind. He never threatened to do it. But in my mind, I kept thinking, whoa, hold on. If this man tells me he's so pissed about whatever, he's not going to fuck me tonight. Oh, I can't take that. I can't take that. So those of you, you guys are not only the well-endowed guys, because the guys who are not as well-endowed, you don't have to have a donkey cock to do this. If you know that she bout that life, if you know, that when you get with a bitch, your foreplay game is great. And that's not just eating coochie. Guys, let me learn you something. Jesus Christ. First of all, there's an art to that shit. And I'm more of a giver than a receiver. I'm not really big on people going down on me anyway. But for those of you, if you are of a certain age, you have learned and taken your time and learned how to do foreplay, right? The amount of pressure to go on a booby, the amount of saliva to use when you're sucking pussy, that just all the things with how to finger it, all just the things you need to do to get her in the mood, all that mind fuck to what you need to say, the kind of colognes you need to wear, all of that shit. But you train women with your behavior as well, right? When a woman that you're dating is not doing the right thing, keep the cock from her. Real shit. Keep the cock from her. And any real woman, any real woman is going to have a fit about that shit. Her first response should be, hey, baby, what's going on? No, oh, nigga, who you fucking? Ah, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Train the bitch. Train her, right? Take away the cock. Take away the extras. It is not a foregone conclusion that because she possesses a vagina that you're supposed to keep her nails done, keep her hair done, keep paying all the bills and shit. That's not a foregone conclusion. That's the same pussy you got 15 years ago when you started talking to her. Has she done anything new with it? Has she been keeping it clean? She's been going to the doctor. Does she voluntarily give it up or you got to beg for it? You got to argue about it to get it. If, listen, any, I'll tell you guys one more again. Let me learn you something. Any woman you're living with that's not physically disabled, that's not physically disabled, that is sitting on her vagina for more than two days, my friend, let me be the one to inform you you're her fucking roommate. I'm going to start some arguments tonight. Let me learn you one more again. If you are with a woman you're cohabitating that you chose, that you chose, that is not physically disabled, right? Or having some mental something going on, dis- depressed or whatever. Yeah. And then you guys to be working towards fixing that. I'm not talking about that. Extreme situation. I'm talking about regular popping off at the mouth, got energy for everything except for fucking you. Chick sitting in your house. On the phone you're paying for, with the electricity on while she's talking shit to you, and she's sitting on her pussy for more than two days, you, sir, are her roommate. I can't even fathom the thought. And this is beyond me being celibate for 18 years. I can't fathom the thought of having someone I check for, I care for, I'm in love with, I gave a title to, living in my house, in the bed next to me prayerfully waking up in the morning and poking me in the back with that beautiful fleshy thing that God has given him and allowed him to share with me. And I'm not turning over in the morning with that shit in my mouth. 
I'm not turning over in the morning pretending to be sleeping and pushing my ass back on that. I'm in the bed acting like I'm upset. The fuck? The fuck? Are you kidding me? The fuck? <laughs> Why? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Men, think about it from other perspective. If your lady's in the bed laying next to you and you're horny and shit and she's knocking herself off in the bed. I mean, this bitch is moaning and carrying on. She's not on the phone. She's not watching porn. Doing nothing stupid. She's in the bed next to you fucking whacking herself off. Are you not telling that bitch, look it. Spread them legs, bitch. I'm coming to get what's mine. Seriously? Seriously? Let's be grown around here for a minute. Let's be grown around here for a minute. Really? Look. Look. I, look it. I don't know. I don't know about everybody else. I'm a grown-ass woman. And I know at my age and anybody I'm dating around my age range, we don't have erections and wetness to waste. We just don't. You know, over the age of 50, how many erections do you have left? Natural ones without the fucking Viagra. You have you, have you climbing on my back for two and three fucking hours at a time, right? How many natural erections do you have left? Really? We don't have them to waste, to be arguing about shit. If we're arguing about anything, it's stopping by 11.59. We already know at that point we're having some sort of makeup sex before midnight because I'm not waking up angry about an argument from yesterday tomorrow morning. Fuck that. Fuck that. And I think more couples, just the ones that live together, need to get in that mindset of, no, what happened yesterday happened yesterday and that's that. I'm not waking up with the same argument. How many of you guys have experienced getting with someone and the bitch is mad for so fucking long that she doesn't even remember what the fuck she's mad about? Right? You're telling your boy, yo, man, I ain't fucking like two months of shit. Why not? My lady's not giving me any. Why the fuck not? I don't even remember. Fuck! And you're still paying the bills. Listen, dudes, 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 I'm going to start some argument right now. Men, if your lady's on some more, oh, I'm not fucking you for a month type shit and you figure out why I'm mad, stop paying that bitch's phone bill. I bet she gets some act right real fucking quick. Because she's she's empowered. She's on the phone talking to her single fucking friends that probably want to fuck you anyway. And call her, oh, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, why? And here's the thing. Ladies, please pay attention to what your friends say. When your friends... See, the thing is, on a subconscious level, you could be doing the right thing. First of all, stop getting outsiders involved in your personal business. That's number one. But number two, when you get on the phone with your single fucking friend that's got six kids and six different baby fathers, not the right bitch to be taking advice from, that's for starters. Secondly, the first thing your friend will tell you rightfully on a subconscious core level, she doesn't even understand how the angels are working for your vagina. When you get on the fucking phone with your single friend and you tell her about your man, right? The one that's doing the right thing. You raggedy motherfuckers, I'm not talking about you. The ones that are not taking care of your kids, got juggling th- three and four fucking women, you know, not training. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the ones who are hardworking and fucking monogamous. You guys deserve to get all the sexual satisfaction you deserve. So ladies, when you get on the fucking phone with your friends that are jealous and envious, and the first thing this bitch says to you is, yeah, it's about fucking time. Fuck that nigga. Listen, take her advice. She said, fuck that nigga. That's what I just told you. Feed them. Fuck them. Leave them alone. Your friend told you what to do. She thought she meant it another way. When your friend gets on the phone, like, yeah, girl, it's about time. Uh -uh." Fuck that nigga. That's right. Hang up the fucking phone. Call your man. Get him home. Or go to meet. We just had it. Nooner. We talked about it on the show. Give him a pop up at the fucking job. Give him a blowjob in the fucking car or some shit. Right? Fuck him. She said, your friend said, fuck that nigga. Fuck that. You go and fuck that nigga. Cypher says so. <laughs> God damn it. Freaky fucking Fridays here on Talk Radio with your host, Cypher Kyle. Let's keep it moving here. Let's just dig into these articles. But give me a second. Some more segments. So finish out the soaker portion and I'll jump into those headline stories I said I wanted to discuss this evening. The next one I'm going to play right now Cloud 5, No Behavior, Shell Down on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Yo, yo. This is the biggest collab. GAWK Radio Freaky Fridays. When you see we juve morning, all we do is chip, chip. Behind the job juve morning, we black and we green. All a girl inside a man, make she bend a stick. She jab like we don't give a damn. We mad and we sick, sick. Juve money ringing bell, moving like we come from hell. We under a jab jab spell, so we playing jab jab until we dead. 
Catch a crab and we junk like fish And you know any pet we de in it When you see we juve morning Just give us a fish to it Pull a girl, if she walk If she walk behind the chop Baby girl, no waste no time Back it up on me one time now One by one just fall in line Let me jab jab take a wine Everybody afraid of we Cause you know we bad like that Boom! When we touch down The whole place shell down GAWK Radio Freaky Friday When we touch down The whole place shell down When we touch down The whole place shell down When you see we juve morning All we do is chip chip Behind the top juve morning We black and we green All a girl inside a band Make she bend and stick She Jab like we no give a damn We mad and we sick sick Jab jab we no cater CV on the newspaper Drinking on the counter Jamming girl on the speaker Girl catch a fire like sulfur Body hot to throw water Too long the jab temperature Roman girl is weak culture Jab jab we no business Roman girl is weak weakness Keeping it to some selfish Watch the bumper roll I want eat it I got no behavior When I'm on that the job job fever Hold a girl keep calm and just walk off So say man we got the deep flavor When we touch down Freaky Friday's short radio When we touch down The whole place shell down When we touch down The whole place shell down When we touch down The whole place shell down When you see we juve morning All we do is chip chip Behind the top juve morning We black and we green All a girl inside a band Make she bend and stick She Jab like we don't give a damn We mad and we sick sick Wait up for me Cause I have a jab jab jumbe You can't stab my belly out like way You can't out when a girl like way Take a picture, take out a pose Behind the truck 630 way You know it's carnival time So we get in a road I grab up a chain and drag it on the road And I hold like you on the corner And I brace her up like hunter Say she want a man to walk her Funny church and maximum slammer So I hold like you on the corner And I brace her up like hunter Say she want a man to walk her Funny church and maximum slammer When we touch down The whole place shell down When we touch down The whole place shell down When we touch down, the whole place shell down When we touch down, the whole place shell down When you see we juve morning, all we do is chip, chip Behind the truck juve morning, we black and we green, see All a girl inside a van, make she bend and stick, she Jab like we don't give a damn, we mad and we sick, sick When we touch down, the whole place shell down When we touch down, the whole place shell down When we touch down, the whole place shell down When we touch down, the whole place shell down AWK Radio's Freaky Fucking Fridays. You guys are amazing. You see, they're learning so much shit. That's all I want to do. I want, I want to learn you on some things. I want to learn you on some things is all I'm saying, <laughs> right? Here on the Freaky Fridays, where I tell you guys, get your papers and pens, get your glasses up, get whatever you're smoking, smoke it, grab some pussy clothes, get some phone numbers close to you in your phone for whoever you might want to reach out to after the broadcast and all that shit. Shout out, special shout out to Lil Donny from the wild bunch who said he's tuned in and ready to get freaky tonight yeah so shout out to all of the archivers as well in advance these are the people that can't listen live because of their work schedules or time zones or whatever i tell i was going to tell you guys what the biggest countries that made the biggest movement from last week to this week so we broadcast in the united states there first then we got the russian federation romania norway malawi india and the united kingdom Right. Not the only countries tuned in, just the ones that made the biggest, most significant movement from last week, Friday to this week, Friday. So we appreciate all of you who tuned into the show. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, let's continue. This is one of um, our artists. We've got, well, not one of our artists. It's an international artist, Mr. Big Red from Ace Management. They gave us this music when it was a new, new, over about a year ago. A fantastic song. Can't wait to sit down with them as well, where we can coordinate the schedules and get it together. This one's called Roadblock here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Dang. 
I don't want nobody to hold me back. I don't want nobody to bandage up. Roadblock, everything mash up. The whole place turn up. Girl must get woke up. Roadblock, everything mash up. The whole place turn up. Girl must get woke up. I drunk. I don't want nobody to hold me back. I drunk. I don't want nobody to bandage up. I drunk. I don't want nobody to hold me back. I drunk. I don't want nobody to UK Radio Freaky Friday Sucaholics After one shot I don't drunk drunk Roadblock Everything mash up The old place turn up Girl must get woke up Roadblock Everything mash up The old place turn up Girl must get woke up I drunk I don't want nobody to hold me back I drunk I don't want nobody to bend me job I drunk I don't want nobody to hold me back She right in front of she man Have me jack and yanny me and Two bear money no give a damn If you don't wanna rob me in your band No girl walking up on your truck Hey girl come wind up on the job We don't care what they talking about Roadblock Everything mash up The old place turn up Girl must get woke up Roadblock Everything mash up The old place turn up Girl must get woke up I drunk I don't want nobody to hold me back I drunk I don't want nobody to bandage up. I drop. I don't want nobody to hold me back. I drop. I don't want nobody to bandage up. I don't want nobody to hold me back. I don't want nobody to bandage up. I don't want nobody to hold me back. I don't want nobody to bandage up. Lord, the this and the bass line for that song is unbelievable. Freaky fucking Fridays on Talk Radio. Gonna play. I hope I pulled it. Did I pull it? Yes, my favorite Afrobeat song. We're going to play this one, jump into these articles, and we're going to finish it off with a nice reggae selection of music to wind in the show in that party portion of the show around 9.30 to about 10. So we can sort it out that way. Anyway, freaky fucking Fridays on Talk Radio. Shout out to Mr. GP in the public chat room. Nice to have you. Said you're having a good time. And those of you listening, I tell you, all the men tonight, you guys are learning a lot. You said you're writing this shit down. You're going to hold your ladies accountable, as you should. As you should. Ladies, step your fucking game up, right? It's a pandemic. Listen here. Money is a great commodity right now. And you've got a responsible motherfucker that's around. Or respect, right? If you've got a responsible motherfucker around you that's still looking in your face when he's seen you with no makeup on, he has seen the skin underneath your lace front torn off of your fucking forehead, he has seen you without your nails done, without your coochie waxed and shaved, with your eyebrows growing the fuck out, and still has kept you around and not thrown you the fuck out. Listen here, ladies, step your fucking game up. It's not a game anymore. Getting new hours at work, not easy. Going around people that are sick and coughing, traffic and all that shit, it's a new world order out here right now. Ladies, what you used to do before you can't can't do anymore what you can't listen now look listen here listen, listen 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 look at look at look at look at look at what you got away with before you can't get away with now don't get me preaching out here don't get me preaching out here that same old vagina you gave before is not going to cut it anymore you need to shave it down keep it clean you know what i'm saying let the shit whistle look do some new things you can't be giving away 15 year old vagina looking for things to get in 2021 Right, you've got to do some new things. It doesn't have to be new things with your crotch. Oh, your knees might be bad. You can alter some things. I told you guys, look, we're all older now, right? Your knee game might not be what it used to be. Maybe you can't get down on the floor and do that anymore. So you alter it, right? You, if you got it, listen, if, you're, if you can't do the riding thing anymore, you, you alter it a little bit. You guys are older. Get a fucking chair that can sustain your weight. Sit him in a chair. If you're short, Right, you can't get over your guys tall. Put some fucking heels on. Get naked and ride his ass in the goddamn chair. That way, when your knees start to buckle on you or they start to hurt a little bit, you can sit the fuck down. The seats are already there. You know what I'm saying? There's some things you can do, right? But it's different out here now. Listen, guys, raise the goddamn standards. If you're still out here working, doing the right thing, all of you guys who um who were overlooked before, the FedEx workers, the um you know the guys who were in the you know, stacking the shelves and all that other stuff. You know, there's, there's levels to this shit, right? You guys are the new athletes, musicians, and fucking models. Step your, you don't got to accept anything anymore. I'm not saying run around and cheat. No, 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 not that. I'm saying require more from the person that you kept, right? Because it's still, the STDs have not gone away. They added this pandemic, COVID, whatever, but the STDs have not gone away. 
They said the HIV numbers are going up. All these things we'll talk about one of these Wednesdays coming up. But I'm simply saying you got to raise the level out here, guys. you got the power to do it. You do. Your wallet and your cock is very powerful. Grown women like to be fucked as much as you like to fuck us. Whether they want to admit it to you or not. They sit around their friends talking about, girl, oh, that nigga blew my back out. Da, 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 da. I'm telling you, you guys got power. I'm telling you, you guys got power. You do. Silent with it. Pull back slowly. Little things. Come in the house and shave. If you've got dreadlocks, fresh twist your dreads. You know, do the little things that's going to draw her attention to you. Let her wonder what the fuck you got going on, baby. I got nothing going on. And I'm telling you, those times when she's not acting right, I'm listening. Let me learn you guys something. The times when the bitch is not acting right, you got the power too. I told you, I'll tell you guys all the time. I don't know about most women watching a man. Whew. watching a well-endowed black man stroke his cock in front of me is like fucking kryptonite. I need to put that penis someplace on me, a nostril, an ear hole, a mouth, a vag- somewhere it has to go somewhere. I can't just, it's, listen, I'm telling you, I'm fucking telling you, I'm fucking telling you. Do that thing that drives your lady crazy, that shave, that particular cologne, whatever it is, and get naked. I don't give a fuck if you gain weight or whatever. Listen, if you've gained weight, there's little things you can do to nudge it, whatever it is. But I'm telling you, we love that shit as much as we'd love to give it to us. Oh, Lord. Every time I do this show, I regret my life choices, I swear. But I'll keep her locked down till God says otherwise. But anyway, for those of you, for the rest of you, I won't be a hater. You guys, I'll tell you guys how to have better sex here on the Freaky Fridays of Talk Radio. Anyway, this one's called Sample You by Mr. Easy here on the Freaky Fridays of Talk Radio. Uh, Another guilty beat. Uh, it's your boy easy. <laughs> I, this is music. Uh, I mean, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. If you take a few, they look so fresh. Blow my mind, I go love to handle you. Uh, I mean, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. If you take a few, they look so fresh, blow my mind, I go love to handle you. Ah, ah, yeah, gaga, ah, yeah, ah, uh-huh. yeah, ah, yeah, gaga, ah, uh-huh. yeah. TAWK Radio Freaky Friday. Make you look me, make you look me well. If you love me, I go love you back. If you give me chance. I will give you chance. I defuse your paro. I defuse your package. I de love your paro. Take a few carry overload. I defuse your paro. I defuse your package. I de bed do the play. My baby make you ginger me. Oh, oh yeah, mommy, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. C A W K radio, freaky Friday, cipher Kai. Oh yeah, mommy, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. If you take a few, they look so fresh. Then my mind, I go love to handle you. Ah, all the way to Tamale. Hey, when you hear him, you must to boo my head. Ah, all the way to Tamale. Hey, when you hear him, you must to boo my head. Zaga. Oh yeah, mommy, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. If you take off, you go look so fresh. Blow my mind, I go love to handle you. Oh yeah, mommy, you they look good. If you no go mind, I go love to sample you. If you take off, you go look so fresh. Blow my mind, I go love to handle you. Ah, all the way to Tamale. T A W K Radio Freaky Fridays. All the way to Tamale hey, hey, hey. When you hear him, you must to go my head Oh yeah, mommy, you they look good If you no go mind, I go love to sample you Check up, you they look so fresh Blow my mind, I go love to handle you Oh yeah, mommy, you they look good If you no go mind, I go love to sample you If you take up, you they look so fresh Then my mind, I go love to handle you Ah, Gaga Ah, yeah,
at WK Radio with your host, Cypher Kai, on the ones and twos. So let me get into these two articles that you guys sent. Um, shout out to <laughs> my Asian talkers for sending me this first one. Again, I don't read these articles. They will send them to me. Lots of you send in things. If you want to send in an article to me to potentially read on the air, uh, send it to questions with an S at TAWK And in the head, in the subject line, just put, um, article. So I know it's something you want me to read on the show and not a question. Um, and so I usually let to look at the headline itself and say, okay, that's something that's of interest to me. So I have no idea where the story is going to go until I actually click it open live here with you guys on the show to see. So let's see what the fuck this is about. Lord have mercy. Oh, God. All right. Let's see. Live, unscripted, uncensored radio. So this one's in the New York Post. Um, it said adopted man marries his mom's biological daughter in wild wedding mix up. This is written by Miss Kate Shahi on April 6, 2021. I like to make sure I say where the articles come from and give the writers homage. I know there's a lot of people that troll on the site respectfully. I don't know what a troll is. Somebody explained it to me the other day. Social media, people come on, say negative things, whatever. I guess mine are not trolls. I got to find another name for them. There are people that will come on and listen to the show. And they will take things they hear here and either print it in a publication they're working with or put it on their own podcast after I broadcast them. I guess it could be flattering. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so a Chinese woman, hold on. A Chinese woman gained more than a daughter-in-law at her son's wedding last month when she discovered the bride was actually her biological child. The woman noticed for the first time at the March 31st wedding that her son's bride had a distinctive birthmark on one of her hands, just like the child she gave up for adoption years ago. The stunned woman turned to the bride's parents and asked, did you by any chance adopt your daughter? The bride's parents responded yes, revealing a secret they had kept from everyone for more than 20 years. They had found their daughter on the side of the road. Tears and hugs followed all around the nuptials in a province in China. Can't pronounce the name. The ceremony was allowed to go on even though the bride's biological mother also was the mom of the groom. That's because the groom's mother had actually adopted her son as a baby after giving up her daughter. So the love pair are biologically unrelated. Now look at, look at, look at, look at, look at oh lord so now look at they're not actually biologically related but look at the fuckery so you have a baby you don't keep not only did you not keep her you put her on the side of the road and then adopted another one so you didn't adopt one because you couldn't have the child you maybe wanted a boy instead or whatever the case is and then on top of that you selfish fucker i'm calling look at i'm calling a spade a spade these people these two strangers meet each other fall in love right and you see this distinctive birthmark so you know it's your child you had no hand in raising her lovely young lady she finds love she didn't know now had you gone and spoken to the parents privately and said hey you know um did you adopt the daughter da 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 they said yes they kept this from her all the time this is the time that you want to reveal that you're her mom and oh by the way you didn't fucking raise me you don't know what she's been through what trauma she might have gone through but look how well you raised this man that's now going to be my husband you selfish bitch you selfish bitch. Seriously. Seriously. Not that t- talking about bad timing. Really though? That was really suppose when she said that now, the girl was mortified and didn't want to marry the guy. How much many how much more times did you want to fuck up this girl's life? Now you got her questioning everything. She loved her parents, they raised her well and all that, and here you go step in the fucking with your selfish ass, wanting her to know who you are. You didn't want her to know who you were, it's why you put her off on the side of the road how dare you do that at my wedding i'd have been pissed off and that's why they say um whoever wants to speak hold your peace fuck that anybody ever coming to my wedding just know let me just put it out here right now and say it's a foregone conclusion i don't trust anybody around me so by the time i have my wedding i'll already be married legally just so you guys are aware just gonna say that right now my guy and i are going to fucking elope and we'll do the whole you know shtick afterwards so for those of you who plan on hating and shit, oh, I'm going to step up and say this and that. Fuck it. It'll already be done. <laughs> I'm just going to say that here and fucking now. Here and fucking now. Unbelievable, you selfish fucker. Unbelievable. So that's one. I think there's like two more. I've got to read the other ones. Anyway, so we'll get into that in a minute. Let's get into this reggae portion of the show. <laughs> Lord. All right. So this one. 
It's Bless the Remix by Bouja Bonton featuring Fabulous and Jada Kiss here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Y'all know what we been through. Y'all know where we come from. But we blessed. Big bless. Bouja, got you. Yo, I'm talking about struggles and setbacks, losses and get backs. Blowing through the money, I should have just let stack. Then it took off, I got me a jetpack. Like I flew there, Delta, but hopped on a jetpack. Upgraded my fly, updated supply. Hustle on T A W K Radio, Freaky Fridays. Like Upstater and Y. Or homies toasting to you with cups straight to the sky. Overall, we big blessed. More money, more problems like big stress. Gotta keep mommy fly, all the kids dressed. You know I'm cold with it, straight out the fridge fresh. Pray for it, got up and parade for it. Flowing through your block, it look like I made for it. First I freestyle, then I got paid for it. My time to shine, now they throwing shade tell for them, it. Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless. Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless. Tell them so we still have life, we no stress. God line shine on we, you know what we Screw where your man want free, we no press. Bless up who down when we fuck the rest. Tell them we no block like that, and we no this. Only follow me like peace, so they my guess. How come we still look clean and they my mess? If I try, they will see me. T-A-W-K, radio. I'm a grown man and I do what I'm supposed to do uh-huh. Mama told me show me your friends and I show you you yeah. You can see the lies they told us becoming true mm. Tell them that we blessed so they know when we coming through what? Soldiers no longer with us now they live through the crew yes. I'm bringing the gorillas you only bringing the glue Ooh. Think you got the answers you really don't have a clue Life's a write off but don't have a bite off more than you can chew nah. There's some there's plenty then there's few yeah. Can't find any to spit it like I spew None. We get money and stay fresh When they ask about us make sure you tell them that tell they them blessed so we bless. what? Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless Now nah, I see me spend my last to impress Tell them me no waste my own, me inverse Make them know me girlfriend one put in T-A-W-K, Fabio I'm still on them mind So you now see me pressure no man like some piss Now so we make our own a success Now is it different but take with interest Tell them so we still have life, we no stress Call them so we still have life, we no stress Call them so we still have life, we no stress Steve who will cost me a time for progress Now nah, follow them in the road of beaches No matter where a man want to have me careless And this me want your digest uh. We are strive and a reach to be cool Them a fight and a spite through them in control Them a real ass soul But a long time We are fight for your slice of the bread Them a scheme and a dream and a wish we for dead huh? But a god of we end and I know just now We are scream and a cheer for the team Them a plan out for bench We and them rule supreme Like and them want for clean You can imagine We a try move out and the shake Them a cry and a spy Them a try stop with clock Guess how we have we back Tell them so we bless Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless Tell them we bless, tell them we bless, tell them we bless T-A-W-K Radio with your host of Cypher Kai on the Freaky Fridays. Again, I'm going to give a shout out to Anthony the Lift Driver, who is hanging out right now with Sparta Dunn, a whole of vibes and a meds, listening to talk radio. I said it earlier, I did. And I said it earlier too. Early, early enough in the show, I didn't forget you, but I'll say it again. As many times as required, my super VIP <laughs> and no, I'm not broadcasting on the side of the road tonight. God damn it. Fresh. Anyway, so let's continue. What's this other article? Lord, um, this shit, uh, you know, oh God, let's see where this even goes. Let's just see where this even goes on this live, unscripted, uncensored platform for this freaky fucking Friday tonight, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's so humbling to see how many of you log in to hear me talk all of this debauchery to ya here on the Friday shows while we play some music and have a good time and just learn you guys some things. I know a lot of you said you're taking notes. Um, now there was something else you guys sent me about this fucking pedophilic mayor. I think I'm going to talk about that either next week, Friday. (laughs) Okay. Mr. Anthony, Mr. Amazing, Anthony, Mr. Amazing. How about that? Anthony, Mr. Amazing. Is that better for you? You're so fucking arrogant. My God. Yes. Mr. Anthony, amazing. (laughs) <laughs> that's tuned into the show right now you don't want to be called anthony the lift driver anymore fine fine mr amazing anthony amazing is tuned in right now mr sparta dunn holding the vibes is mr dunn enjoying the show i hope so all right so let's get into this article you guys oh let's see let's see jesus let us see what's going on here all right 
New York Post by Catherine Boniello, April 10, 2021. A New York parent seeks the okay to marry her adult child. Jesus. All right, I, I'm going to. I'm going to play along and read a little of this shit. Um, I take my child to be my lawfully wedded spouse. A New Yorker who wants to marry their own adult offspring is suing to overturn laws barring the incestuous practice, calling it a matter of individ- sorry, individual autonomy. The pining parent seeks to remain anonymous because their request is an action that a large segment of society views as morally, socially, and biologically repugnant, according to court papers. Through the enduring bond of marriage, two persons, whatever relationship they might otherwise have with one another, can find a greater level of expression, intimacy, and spirituality. The parent argues in the Manhattan Federal Court claim filed April 1st, legal papers give only the barest picture of the would-be newlyweds failing to identify their genders, ages, hometowns, or the nature of their relationship. The proposed spouses are adults. The filing says the proposed spouses are biological parent and child. The proposed spouses are unable to procreate together. Incest is a third degree felony under the New York law, punishable by up to four years behind bars. And incestuous marriages are considered void with the spouses facing a fine and up to six months in jail. Marriage licenses in the five boroughs require potential spouses to list their birth parents and attest there are no legal impediments to the marriage. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. I could look okay, it. Now my niggling is telling me uh, this is some fucking woman wanting to marry her son. I just feel that. I feel that they're they're not saying the genders and the way that the, the um media tends to do things means it's a woman more than likely it's a fucking woman probably some woman who was and again this is just my niggling just my niggling it's not part of the article just what i'm feeling whoever it is woman wanting to marry your son man wanting to marry your fucking daughter i get that you guys are adults i have adult children i have very good looking adult children I can't fathom for one fucking second, for one fucking second, finding anything sexually attractive to myself about my children. I I just can't. I've seen grown women ogling over my son. I've watched people ogling over my daughter, all that kind of shit. I can see that they're beautiful people, physically attractive people. To think that I would, no, no, just no and no, right? So if you have raised and see, again, I didn't even realize that the two stories had that correlation to each other either. So in the first story, the couple were not biologically um, related and they got married and this selfish bitch wanted to get the altar and say, oh, by the way, you're my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Selfish bitch. Because I think she's a selfish bitch for doing that at the wedding at the time. Completely fucking inappropriate, completely and absolutely motherfucking inappropriate. But this other motherfucker a motherfuckerette, I make up words here, motherfucker, a motherfuckerette that wants to marry their biological child that they pushed out, that shares their DNA, their genes that they've raised, fucks with me a lot. Outside of the, oh, I don't want to hear the bullshit about, oh, well, they're adults and this and that. If you want to do this now, you're going so far to go public, to want to go and overturn laws and shit, you're a fucking disgusting ass has been, they said pining, they said pining in the article, this parent has been having sexual, but spiritual and expressive, you can take your fucking kid to church, you nasty bitch, you want to fuck your son, you want to fuck your son, that's what that is, right, you can call it whatever you like, you want to fuck your child, and that means you've had these inclinations since your child was younger, and I venture to fucking say, I venture to fucking say, that something was already done and the child accepted it whatever narrative they gave them oh come and make mommy feel better whatever the fuck you said because i know it's a bitch i know it's a bitch i know it's a bitch my i know it's a bitch it's some woman that wants to fuck her son you gross degenerate repugnant bitch and you've been looking at that boy growing up 
probably looking at his erections and all these things and or and and, and probably one of these bitches that'll have the girlfriends caught in the house and say he's not there when he's right the fuck in the house and all this other low vibrational holding on to tight won't cut the fucking umbilical cord type shit you good for nothing bitches do and you feel like your sons your grown sons that somehow your happiness is their responsibility it's not it is your job if you're socially inept to learn to you know assimilate with society and allow your grown children to live their lives I know it's a bitch. I'm going to do this. I know it's a bitch. I know it's a fucking woman wanting to marry her son. But either way it goes, man want to, whoever you are, you want to fuck your child. And this is not the first time you've thought about this. In watching them grow up, more than likely sabotaging their relationships, you've been wanting to fuck them for a long time if you haven't already gone and done it. And maybe you like this so much is why you want to go public and do this shit. But you have done something with this child before. I know that I know that I fucking know it. And you're disgusting. And you're disgusting. And that's why people think it's repugnant because it fucking is. Because it fucking is. And the fact that they say they can't procreate means it's probably some old bitch with dried up eggs that has held on tight to her child five ever. Five ever. And now that she figures, okay, I can't get pregnant and shit. Now I want to waste my old pussy on my fucking son. You're a disgusting bitch. That's it. Bob's your uncle. All right, so that's those are the two stories you guys sent me in in one of my feedback. There's my fucking feedback. There's my fucking feedback. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Now, fun portion of the show. This is where I get to put on and play, you know, do the exolutes for the evening and just play out some music until we wind down the show. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm about to do. Exactly what I'm about to do. So in honor of Mr. Anthony Amazing... And Mrs. Sparta done tuning in. Time for the reggae vibes for all the reggae heads. I give the Stokeaholic something. I give the hip hop heads something. Little Afrobeats in there. Something for everyone. We had grown up conversations and shit. So we're going to play some music now. For those of you who are hanging out here. Time to get your wine on. Loosen up your hips and shit. Find, start making those sexual phone calls. Start sending out those Ubers. Start getting this. Listen here. Let's get grown round here. So let's start off. Mr. Stylo G and Stammer Kid put it down. Here on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Yo, Stammer. <laughs> no, the girl in love, Rina. It's Trap Plan Cleave. Yo, nobody's been there if you say nothing. Ooh. Pussy run. run. You wanna get this cup put it up. Put it up. You wanna get this cup put it up. Put it up. Be, be a bad girl, I bring it calm. Bring it calm. Me up in the heart, yeah, she rather me. Rather me. She, she no call me, she no bother me. You are. Me, you are, you are spend your money. You must spend. She a get my body Fly, we fly them out fly. Champagne, stamina, we buy them out Girl a pop when they kyle them out Who a talk tough, tell them mine them out Hey mm. style, we bring designer out bring If a cash man have all kind of mouth Nowadays all dog wear Gucci mm. So how come some man still China out? Make money sure, make money stock Make money from weed, make money from crack mm. Spend money GAWK you know Radio, Freaky Fridays Send money go yard Money come back, back. Count out the prof Money non-stop Hey, we are getting legal Money like chop <clears throat> Make your girlfriend Walk me like shop Ooh, Pussy run. run You wanna get this Go put it down put it You wanna get this Go put it down put it be, be a bad girl I bring it come Ooh, Pussy run <laughs> You wanna get this Go put it down put it You wanna get this Go put it down put it be, be a bad girl I bring it come Yo, Them go pick up Girl them can't manage yeah. Nowadays, them girl, you're too savage. That's why our girl, them not average. Mm. Them want to fight you for marriage. Man. Love bad girl, but she have your purpose. Yeah. Some man a clown call them circus. Yeah. The pussy good, still me not going to hurt us. Yeah, if she goes to love them, me I go nervous. Oh, Ooh, pussy run. run. You want to get this, go put it up. Put it up. You want to get this, go put it up. Put it up. Be a bad girl, I bring it come. Ooh, pussy run. <laughs> you want to get this, go put it up. Put it up. G-A-W-K Radio Freaky Friday Get the pussy, yet them still a try hard. Feel the girl, me have a cock up in my yard. Back shot where she get boom. Be a big tune, pan the cock, she select. Mm. Man, take them girl, cause she freaky. She 
Pushing up the money so we give her the sweetie She want me for Brady, believe me One word and she give me pussy easy, easy. Ooh, Pussy run You wanna get this go put it down You wanna get this go put it down Be a bad girl I bring it come Ooh, Pussy run You wanna get this go put it down You wanna get this go put it down Be a bad girl I bring it come T-A-W-K Radio's Freaky Yo, Friday yeah. Style of G my Oh Lord Step up on them pepper hat The sauce run out Me have the whole pepper pot Money I make Even if me take a nap Then my wife Yeah we take more meal And let her box Ooh. Me had the bad uncle She had the bad auntie She love to wind up herself Like a Nancy Tell her to take time Do it then balance it Then me light up The spliff like Kalanji Yard man We not Tarzan Full of girl Go and go ask Jordan Watch her style ya yeah. Everybody want one You have to spend 10 years in a London I saw your bad, do it I saw my bad, do it I saw your bad, do it Every day man clean and oh, neat Every style I'm a job too hard oh, Lord. Be a bad girl in the yard oh, Lord. We make uptown y'all look easy I make English y'all act yard Yo, every style I'm a job too hard oh, Lord. Be a bad girl in the yard oh, Lord. We make uptown y'all look easy I make English y'all act yard People have a look who's stepping at the rotted place Too much cars on the parking space Boom, rich like my own marketplace The killer there so him off the mass in face Yeah Pretty girl love my style though One in me I do it for a while though Dumping up the place for a while now Now me have the whole world shout out style though Wall them Yard man, we not Tarzan Full of girl go and go ask Jordan Watch a style yeah, everybody want one You have to spend 10 years in a London I say you bad, do it I say you bad, do it I say you bad, do it Every day man clean and neat Give a style of my job too hard Oh lord Be a bad girl in the yard oh, Lord. We make uptown y'all look easy I make English y'all act yard Yo, every style I'm a job too hard oh, Lord. Be a bad girl in the yard oh, Lord. We make uptown y'all look easy I make English y'all act yard oh, Lord. Yo, legal money and a funny note, note. Bad from Spain town and a summer group G-A-W-K Radio Freaky Friday Like a curry goat Bang street make me love the pound them Boom, pay for the dog, who oh, she account them Money Gala see me and I get wet fountain Pretty girl like Amaya Townsend <laughs> I say you bad, do it I say she bad, do it I say you bad, do it I say girl for clean and neat I say you bad, do it I say she bad, do it I say you bad, do it I say girl for clean and neat Freaky Fridays with your host is Cypher Kai on TAWK Radio Alakai Harley. Take it to them. Take we are gonna take it to them. No for them or come chat, but them not saying a trend. Take we are gonna take it to them. God bless from Burma Ting turn up in our shot. Yeah, yes, funny beginning. Humble the shit, bitch, you know, fit me I'm too blessed, pray, and I miss me If I feed them, I feed them, I feed me, I feed me, uh So me have to work for him, uh No more one thing, no mix with drama If I have a plan, I'll have me pray for now Sit down on the pin, for the man Worry it hard, I've been a truest So I ain't ever had to worry about nobody gon' do it for me And you know I really do this So when I pull up on the stage, that's the track can't just be me But y'all my full of WK Radio, Freaky Fridays with Cypher Kai on the ones and twos. Bitch, you know, feel me. 
I'm too blessed, pray and I miss me If I feel them, I feel them, I feel me, I feel me Know that I was born to do this So every rhythm when my touch me, I know that I get my own I ain't tryna be no nuisance My mother from me from yard is a monster all in When I'm a high touch down, them I catch a tattoo For them I come chat, but them not saying a trend Take we ever take it to them God bless from Birmingham Turn up in a shot yeah. Yes, funny bikini Humble the shit, bitch, you know, fit me I'm too blessed, pray and I miss me If I feed them, I feed them, I feed me, I feed me uh. Worry it all up in the truth So I ain't never had to worry about nobody gon' do it for me And you know I really do this So when I pull up on the stage, just the track ain't just be me But girl, my full of harmony I'm in a I got to get my boss so you mean Man, my one business on work for me till it's not man time in this I got time in life Take we I got take it to them now for them I come chat but them I said not check now Remember we could have fly we never got visa when they pick it to get flex to a visa Remember we could have fly we never got no visa www.tawkradio Com forward slash shows Freaky Fridays on the ones and twos with Cypher Kai. The next one is Put It On You by Alakai Harley here on the Freaky Fridays on yeah. Talk Radio. I can't wait, I can't wait for tonight when I put this on you. I love to know you. I am the way I want, way I want. You want to jump in a dancing after a long day. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When I go rush me, why I do it in the right way? And the only time we act is when it's role play. You get the cake and boys not even your birthday. From me, what's in till they know me like them would be. I ain't know me, I have to jump off in the wood be. Cause I, I can't wait, I can't wait for tonight when I put this on you. I know you like it. I know oh, like baby. It. I know you like it. Cause I. Shout out to Anthony Amazing and Mr. Sparta Dunn. Tuned in to Talk Radio for the Freaky Fridays. You know exactly what I need, so I don't say You the boss, yeah, you the boss Me, I gon' make you take charge like a phone, babe You know your wife and I gon' play you like no board game Call me that one if you got a girl out the road, babe So I'm telling you I'm happy and I'll never leave you You know I like you love me down in attention But you know you have me weak when the night done And you know I keep it sweet like a rum I'm telling you I'm happy and I'll never leave you I can't wait, I can't wait for tonight when I put this on you Shout out to Sparta Dunn and Gaza Dunn tuned into the Freaky Fridays. I expect you guys to hit my cash up with those money movements you're making on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Yeah, 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 yeah
fuck him, get the fuck him, get the fuck him, get the fuck It bad the fuck, it bad the fuck, it bad the fuck Can I cross this pussy, this a pussy good luck When my boom pan it, all the room pan it Bad bitch pan the broom, she for boom pan it It's sinking and my clutch, my room vroom pan it Make a nigga come quick like a tip chanic To all the pussy fit it all and the gymnastics Gymnastics, yeah the pussy Talk radio is the best I'm gonna fuck all him, fix him after give me cash price Cause the pussy worth it It's a mad man with the tight sweetness It's a mad girl, she not stop free this Cause me have the bear, eh, 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 eh in the world, you know, love feel this. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 but nah, nah, in the world, you know, love feel this. To so, all my team, good, it make him have a scream out. And I sang and I for doing, I'm a good, good mouth. Too good wine, I'm a native queen. The boy come already and him native sink. The matty king full, but yet him a boss off. Come with him tough chat, but I laugh, me a laugh. Car bank account deposit, everything I have it. Pump turn up, so I brass me a brass. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 but nah, 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 in the world, you know, love feel this. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 but nah, 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 in the world, you know, love feel this. My body fuck, my body fuck, my body fuck. Him get the fuck, him get the fuck, him get the fuck. It bad the fuck, it bad the fuck, it bad the fuck. Can I cross this pussy? This a pussy good luck. When my boom pan it, all the room pan it. Bad bitch pan the broom, she won't pan it. I'm sinking, I'm a clutch, my room room pan it. Make a nigga come quick like a tip chan it. To all the pussy fit it all and the gymnastics. Gymnastics? Get the pussy flick. Gold medalist in the fuck Olympics. Them have to give me cash prize, cause the pussy worth it. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 eh. T-A-W-K Radio's Freaky Friday When we be tight sweetness It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this Come me have the bear, eh, 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 eh But nah, nah, in the world, you know, love feel this To all my team good, it make him have a scream out And I sang and I for doing, I'm a good, good mouth Too good wine, I'm a native queen The boy come already and the native sink The matty king full, but yet him a boss off Come with him tough chat, but I laugh, me a laugh Car bank account deposit, everything I have it Pump turn up, so I brass me a brass. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 but nah, nah, in the world, you know, love feel this. It's a mad man with the tight sweetness. It's a mad girl, she not stop pre this. Come me have the bear, eh, 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 but nah, nah, in the world, you know, love feel this. Salute for the evening, our independent artist, Chapter 9. Bad priority on the Bin Bad Rhythm on the Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. And the big vice, big tune, bad artist. And the big vice, big tune, bad artist. <laughs> and the big vice, big tune, bad artist. Yo, yo. Oh, no, I said the vibe. To them have a one house and them have a one car and, and a ride a big bike. But them other day a country a use school stove and still a use candlelight. Them priority no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight. Look at who them a say wife, some old chill on pipe, now fi take off the stripe. One, some boy no fi live long, cause them a live wrong, me a fi sing me song. Two, I me no business a who from you a move loo, but you and your crew. Three, could a never be a school. Feet, but them in a dance all pump a laughing spree Four, me see the cap four pa floor But your mother they a country a sleep out a door Five, them boy they no fi survive Me no in a dat, them pitney them a deprive Six, them a go lose like the Knicks vote out But this a no politics T-A-W-K Radio, Freaky Friday Them have a one house and them have a one car and, and a ride a big bike but them other day a country a use school stove and still a use candle light. Priority no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight. Look at who them a say wife, some old chill on pipe, me a fit take off the stripe. Yeah, me know them, me know the type, ever clean, ever bossy, them ever hype. Look into this, like he's a sniper, we sniper, woman, be a live like him, nah, no life. He turned me, like he's a baby, we gripe, he's a rebel angry, like me, want to fight. No progression, dirty is right. Light bag a man, but a man, yeah, him do it his might Make me rebuke them with all me might Watch them a scatter light, them a scatter light Don't come with me there, don't even try it Fee bun them, hear me have a right Them a say them hype 
you them have a one house and them have a one car and, and a ride a big bike But them have a big country and use coal stove and still a use candle light Prior at you no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight Look at who them a say wife, some old she long pipe, me a fit a coffee stripe One, some boy no fi live long, car them a live wrong, me a fi sing me song Two, I me no business a who from you a move blue gun, you and your crew Three, could a never pay a school fee, but them in a dance all pamper pa laughing spree Four, me see lick a poor pa floor, but your mother de your country a sleep out a door Five, them boy they no fi survive me not in a that, that them pit me them a deprive six them a go lose like the next vote out but this a no politics them a say them hype through them have a one house and them have a one car and, and a ride a big bike but them a daddy they a country a use coal stove and still a use candle light Prior at you no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight look at who them a say wife some old she lump pipe me a fit take off the stripe T-A-W-K Radio with your host, the Cypher Kai on the ones and twos. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me this evening. It's been extremely cathartic. Thank you to all of you who sent messages to me telling me you learned some things tonight. You took some notes this evening. I want you guys to go and buy flash drives, download all of the episodes you have available and access to right now. There's about 117 of them on our website right now, www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. You need headphones. If you came into the show late and missed anything, as I log off, feel free to reload the page and you'll hear everything from the beginning. Also, I believe it's, uh, the archives will be available on iHeartRadio as well. So you can check that out over there. If it's easy for you to have the app and play it in your car or wherever you tune into the show from. One more shout out to the international talkers that made the biggest movement from last week, Friday, to this week, Friday. The Russian Federation, Romania, Norway, Malawi, India and the United Kingdom. Also, if you guys have missed the Wednesday show feel free to go back in the archives and listen to that my pistivity corner part three it was a very very lively show lots of information given out lots more information to give out on Wednesday and also of course stay tuned next week for the ABCs of sex series continuation will be the letter O and element O right O <laughs> next week orgasm or kinds of what who knows what's in there i don't look at the list ahead of time so we'll see pull some music have a great time you guys thank you so much have a really great weekend great sex you guys ladies and gentlemen use the information i gave you treat each other train each other with your behaviors no more stupid arguments no more holding out on sex no more stupid low vibrational shit train each other with your good behaviors right and when you do the wrong thing take it away just like a child it's just like a child right if your kid is not getting good grades and being respectful and shit they can't get toys and iphones and things same fucking situation guys if you're the breadwinner in the house shorty's not working and she's not pulling her weights not that she's got six kids in the house and all that other shit she's not pulling her weight the house is not clean she's not giving you coochie she's not cooking and she's just constantly fucking nagging she doesn't get an iphone she doesn't get lace fronts she doesn't get nails done all that else you don't reward bad behavior you don't reward bad behavior. And ladies, the same fucking thing. If you know you got the glue, if you know you got the titers, if you know you got the boom flicks, sit on on his dick and all of that shit, you know you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're cooking, you're flinging those pots around, you're being supportive and all that shit. And he's not fucking you. Or he's not paying bills the way he's supposed to. Pull it the fuck back. Walk around in the house pretty and smelling nice and don't give him any. Mm-hmm. But you let him know he's, nobody else is getting in either. Knock yourself off in the bed right wet your fucking fingers up put them in his mouth right taste what you can't have look at what you can't get train each other with your behaviors but start off with the good ones first reward good behaviors with good behaviors (laughs) right that's what i'm saying so go back in the archive learn some things take some fucking notes and you guys have a great and safe weekend see you later my lovelies